Hi ladies! It's me again. I had to take a sabbatical. I was baking for a retreat and cooking for a retreat. And by the way, you saw those Philly products. Listen, I have got a phenomenal recipe, but I have to tell you the story behind it. I look at all of the recipes that all these wonderful women have come up with, Phil with Philadelphia cream cheese, and I thought, oh, there's not much left. This year, I was so lucky that my husband took me on a surprise for Valentine's Day to Jamaica. And while I was there, the wonderful people there gave me a drink called a dirty banana. So the dessert that I came up with today is a dirty banana. It has all the Caribbean flavors, but the good thing about it is that you can make this for the summer. It's quick, and there's two different ways you can make it. You can make an adult version, or you can make a family-friendly version. So I'm going to show you the family-friendly version, and I'm going to show you how you can kick it up a notch for your friends. It's a great dessert to have out at a barbecue, out at your patio, or by your pool, kick it back in the summer. So with barbecue season starting, this is the perfect dessert to go with any meal. What we're going to do is we're going to start out, I have instant vanilla pudding, and I'm going to add two cups of cold milk. Turn that on. This is so easy. You're just going to love it. Now, one container, Philadelphia cream cheese. Gotta have it. It's the best. It's the secret recipe. Plop that in there. Now I let my cream cheese get to room temperature. And to this, I am going to add one banana. You want to make sure that everything is well blended. Now, while this is blending, I want to tell you how you can change it a little bit. You can add the banana, but you can also add a liqueur. One ounce of the banana liqueur or if you've been to the islands you can try the banana rum which is really good. But for the family friendly version we're going to omit these and just keep in the banana so it's nice and uh, family friendly. Making this dessert you can do it in a couple of ways and one of them is you can do it in a large portion for a family in a glass tray. I'm going to use the glass tray to make the dirty side of the banana. I've taken one cup of hot water with three heaping tablespoons of instant coffee. You can use your favorite coffee or an espresso and we're going to pour these over, you can buy these anywhere, lady fingers. Those good and soaked. Now again, depending on what you want to do, you can serve this in a nice container for a family and larger group, or for a more intimate. I like the look in a martini glass. Makes a little more fun. Now for your kids, a little family friendly, you can use a Sunday container. So just use what you have around at home. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break the lady fingers up, put them at the bottom of the glass. My cream's ready. with my cream cheese vanilla mixture. It is just so yummy. You could almost eat it that way, but we're not going to today. But definitely we'll look out the bowl. So put that on top of your lady fingers. Put 
Now, again, if I was serving a large crowd, I could just keep it in my glass jar. Now, what you're going to do is grate some dark chocolate. I personally like Godiva. It's nice, the really, really 70% cocoa one. Just grate it up. Add the chocolate on top of your banana vanilla mixture. And then we're going to put more lady fingers on. Now don't worry that these are all falling apart and mushy, that's what we want. Get that good old coffee flavor and dirty up our banana. More of our decadent banana cream cheese mixture. And of course, more chocolate. doesn't take long. It's beautiful. It's decadent. It's summery. It's fun. And it's oh so delicious. Now, after you've made it, as you can see, it takes minutes. Let it sit in your fridge 15-20 minutes so the flavors all just marry up a bit, gets nice and cold. Serve it to your company. Have a great summer. Cheers.